Welcome back, everybody. It's National Ice Cream Month, and today we're celebrating in an unexpected way. <laughs> yes, round of applause. We're going to be uh, celebrating in an unexpected way by pairing our favorite flavors with wine. Oh my gosh, you heard that right. Isn't this interesting? Our next guest says wine and ice cream are the perfect summer doer. Here to tell us more is Natalie McLean, who offers Canada's most popular online wine classes. Welcome back, Natalie. Okay, so I suspect like our audience's reaction, a lot of people at home are also wondering like why, how did pairing ice cream with wine become a thing? Mm. It's a trend supposedly. Yeah. So what makes these two so wonderful together? Well, so why do we drizzle chocolate syrup on ice cream or even add rainbow sprinkles? Yeah. Are they really necessary? No, yeah. but, <laughs> but are they more fun for your tongue? Yes. <laughs> so we're going to create some more flavor, fun combinations between wine and ice cream. We ha not only do we have to balance the sweetness and flavors between the two, but we're also dealing with those extra challenges of dairy content and temperature differences. Ah. But relax, because ladies, I'm taking you back to Sunday school, <laughs> and I'm going to give you the scoop on how to handle. <laughs> Any, uh, any combination. I'm sorry, I wrote my dissertation on ice cream puns. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you never thought you'd be able to use it, but you got to today. Okay. We love your puns. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can guess the proper pairings before we actually taste them. And we have five flavors of ice cream and five types of wine, and you're giving us 20 seconds to make our matches. Sin, mm. are you ready? I'm ready, I got this. Okay. Start the clock. All right. Okay, ladies. so Kava, we got, okay. I got coffee, I got pistachio, right. rocky roll, on. strawberry. I'm gonna Let's go see. like this. Right. Now this is where I get into Good. trouble. Yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting a little, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go, oh my that goodness. That is fast! Yes, eight, seven, Whoa! Five, Whoa! Four, three, two, two pretty good. one. Pretty good. All right. Oh, that was fast, that was a fast 20 seconds. Holy, let's see how ours fast. differ. I'm yes. so curious to see. I'm looking at the new we did. We, they, we did some that are hmm. the same, different. I have justifications. Do, do you? <laughs> I do, I do. No I'm ice so cream shaming. I know. <laughs> <laughs> These are some <laughs> interesting combos. So uh, Derek actually is here and he's gonna bring out the first oh, ice yes. cream flavor for us to taste, Natalie, while you right. tell oh. us what this pairing, first pairing is. I'm guessing yes. we're starting with the cava? That's right. Okay. We've got cava and da, 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 what got is it? What is it? Pistachio ice oh! cream. God, he's so Aww. sweet. What a helpful young man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I just want to do this to so anyway, right. um, So we got pistachio ice cream. We're starting with that because it has a nutty flavor I like almonds. strawberries and exactly. have a nut. No, mm -hmm. no. Wrong. Um, that's so that's weird. Okay. I got that one right. Oh. Oh. Okay, don't do that with the okay, ice cream. Okay, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's painful. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a drier ice cream, so it, it better pairs with dry wines, like this Villa Conchi Cava from Spain. It's sparkling. What do you guys think of the uh, the combo? Uh, it's nice. It's oh, lovely. I love it. I like the raw play on the tongue. Yeah, like, you, you are totally right. The pistachio, it is like a drier. It is yeah. drier among all the flavors that we're going yeah. to taste today. I so, love it. I yeah. think it's a successful pairing. Good, good, good. Okay, so Derek, come on out with our second ice cream flavor. Natalie, which one is yes. this one? Yes. This lovely Chloe Rosé from California. We are pairing it with strawberries. The strawberry notes oh. in the or the ice cream bring out the field berry notes in the rosé. Oh. I thought this would be an easy one, you know, like a soft serve. We both serve. failed. We yeah, both failed. I, I did fail because that was just 20 seconds too fast. Yeah, and yeah, I just yeah. Was laying out the cards. No, this no. Is, makes so much sense. It makes this so is much like sense. a marriage. It does. It, it does. We're gonna, yes. they're gonna last a long time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. These two are gonna be very happy. Absolutely. Yeah, I was thinking that combination was so easy it would be like a soft serve, but that's all. <laughs> anyway, bad um, bad. okay, lost them. <laughs> but anyway, I would also pair this wine with raspberry, cherry, or even tutti frutti, which is like all fruits from yes. Italian ice cream. Delicious. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's so. find out what the third combination is. Okay. This is the Chardonnay. Ready? Here comes Derek, Derek. Come on out. Derek the helpful. All right. <laughs> 
Okay, cool. Vamos. Okay. Oh my God. So we are going with this buttery Chardonnay. Yes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right. With butter pecan I ice cream. <laughs> So the buttery honey notes in the ice mm. or in the wine go really well, I think, with the butter pecan. The pecans add a bit of bitterness, which is a nice offset to the sweetness of the ice cream. And so I think this is a better combination than say butterscotch. Yeah. But at the same time, I would also pair this lovely wine with sea salt caramel. Oh, oh my gosh, yes. that would be good. To die this for. might be my favorite Me pairing too, so I was far. Just about to say yes. the same I love thing. this one. Yeah, I love it too. It's yeah, so yeah. good. So Isn't it great? I don't butter want to on butter. Yeah, it's yeah. so delicious. I don't want to stop eating this combo, but we do have another combo. What's up next? Derek. Derek. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So we are going with this Cabernet. Thank you, Thank you very much. Ooh. And we are going to pair it with coffee ice cream. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this is the conundrum from the Wagner family in California, and I'm daring to pair it with oh, coffee ice cream. I, I haven't had coffee ice cream in ages. It is I, worth isn't it great? A visit. It I is so love good. coffee ice cream oh, so like much. I used to get it rich. as a kid, which is oh. makes zero sense. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Coffee yeah. ice with a black coffee. Oh, those, um, that's nice. Isn't that nice? Because this wine has notes of like dark fruit, toasty oak and coffee. So it's, it has a little bit of residual sweetness, so you want That's that. It's really magical. It's really <laughs> magical. <laughs> it's almost emotional, isn't it? <laughs> Cynthia, like is it brief. safe to say that this is blowing our it's minds? It's blowing my like, mind. Like, we're incredible. Okay. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, so uh, by process elimination, we know what our final pairing is. Actually, I don't. I don't even remember what we have anymore. <laughs> Um, it is What's going left? to be what is left. It's Rocky, Rocky Road. Road. Rocky, Rocky Road. Road. Rocky Road. So Derek, come on, bring it out. Why All right. Is, why Derek. Is this combination our strongest flavors for the last. That's how you always want to do wine. You, you kind of go up sensorily. So we've got this beautiful tawny port from Portugal with all its glorious caramel almond flavors. And then we've got it with Rocky Road ice cream. And the chocolate swirls around those heavenly um, sort of pillows of mushroom or mushrooms. Yeah. Uh, marshmallows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Different. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> anyway, um, but it's a heavenly combination. I would also pair this with uh, chocolate raspberry swirl or oh. cookie dough. Oh my god. So essentially you need something rich, you need something rich in rich. here to keep up with this richness. Exactly, because the wine has more alcohol than regular wine. So it has like 20% alcohol. It's a fortified wine or bringing out the strength. Uh, table wine's about 13%, but it's also got extra sweetness. Right. So it's actually um, probably one of the most versatile wines to pair with any flavor. Oh, oh my goodness. gosh. Yeah. So interesting. I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much. I want to I want to take this backstage and yes. just enjoy it in private, don't you? <laughs> this was so good. Two of my favorite things seen now in a brand new light. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Natalie. Thank you. Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.